Hi everyone, I'm Tony from Wizard, and today I'm going to show you how to create a high fidelity prototype from hand drawn wireframes in under 5 minutes. To do so, let's first start by opening Wizard's Sprite Beta and by creating a new project. Okay, so now I'm going to capture my wireframes using my phone camera. So we want to build a five screen prototype, which means I'm going to have to capture five different pictures. And the last one. There we go. Cool. So now the pictures are basically being processed by our computer vision algorithm in order to try to understand what has been drawn um, and how to better interpret it with, with real components. So it should take no more than 15 seconds per image and then we should be able to build our interactive prototype. Here we go. So let's go ahead and create the connections. So first of all, as you can see here, there is a small mistake. Um, so this um, lock icon should be a user icon. So I can go ahead and correct this small mistake. The rest looks good. Okay, cool. So now I can connect um, components to screens in order to create uh, an interactive user flow. So every single component within Wizard is con considered clickable, so you can build connections between those different um, element and, and, and screens. Okay. Let's say let's say this search icon will bring us to the image gallery and that should be good enough for now. Okay. Yeah, let's just connect this one as well. Looks good. Um, you know what, let's just make one last connection from that image to the screen. Okay, great. Um, fantastic. So now we can basically play that prototype directly in the in the browser to be to be able to experience the interaction flow and whether what we're building makes sense. So I can click in the different hit areas and, and, and navigate the the screens. But what is really interesting is that you can actually go ahead and export that prototype straight to Sketch and straight to HTML and CSS. So let's do this so I can show you the result. Let's start with Sketch. So within Sketch, all the different symbols are already ready to use and, and, and laid out for you. If we open the HTML CSS directly into the web browser, you'll see that you can interact um, and use this front-end prototype directly. All the components are pre-implemented and ready to use. Let's look at the code. And as you can see, the code is human readable. Um, it doesn't look like a machine would have generated this in a very ugly way, which makes it maintainable and, and reusable. Last but not least, let me show you the, the style guide system. So you can actually basically customize and create your own style guide and change them on the fly to test different type of branding and test different type of design directly in the product while you're doing your prototyping and while you're playing with the, with the user flow.
And that's basically it. Thanks for watching and sign up at wizard.io.